Alrighty, let's watch this here in full. There's sound. Alright, let's turn this off. I still feel, like, at least in my headphones, is that the levels are overcranked. Like towards the, like, there's some bigger elements. <laughs> Like here and so on. So it's totally up to you. What do you want to do with that? You are also saying in the email that your shot here. I see. Uh, you having problems? So these are stand-in effects cards, unlike the older ones. All right, note it. Sounds good to me. Let's watch this again. It looked all pretty cool. That's all cool. This one is a bit harsh, hold on. This is pretty much done. I just feel I'm gonna be picky about a couple of things as it goes up here. That head here, hits that, that horribly drawn, that wall there, right there. Watch out how you do that. You could have, even if it goes, either you go up and have a bit more hang time on the head and then down, or the head really wants to go down, but then rotate down the nose so that it really drives down that, that leading with the head action there. Because right now it's a bit stuck in its rotation moving over. I think it should be okay with the translate. I was just being, getting super picky, but... Yeah, I just feel that will hit there. And then as you go down even, there's something where you go down and then it feels like it's a fairly straight down. Again, you need some sort of rotation in there. It feels a bit translate just with the head. And then it feels like we're hitting a bit of a wall there. <laughs> Not that, but a bit like this. And then watch out right through this moment. On that up, the body and the head, all of that moves as one. Again, either you go up and you lead with the head, or you have a bit more of a drag on the head there. And then that here. I think is okay. I'm kind of reacting to that to that bigger drop, but there's just something about it dropping this way and this head so cranked over looking this way. So what is he doing here? He does this as an anticipation to go over there. I think that works then. I'm probably just too picky. So cool. Chopper's cool. Just watch out that once you actually put in the real cards, that they obscure the character as much. Because right now it's blocking a lot for quite some time. So make sure that it's somewhat the same or revisit some areas where we see more of the dragon. There's something right through there. Over there. Right there. It's translate. As you go up, I guess it drops a bit. But the thing is, it starts to drop a little bit down. But then suddenly... Drops to the left, and then you have a bit of a one frame pop on those wings. Right there. It's only a bit harsh. It goes back up, that's fine. It's just that little moment through there. Right there, I can feel it. This is probably out of everything. The biggest thing that stood out to me is this moment. I'm just not quite buying the physics and hang time of this up, and how it suddenly goes forward here. You have up, 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 and then suddenly translates over this way. And then with that impact, visually in 2D space, kind of locks in this area, and then goes down. And I don't know if that's a mix of the camera or the creature, because I'm, if I'm looking at the, uh, what's it called? The mountains here. It's fairly smooth. It's just a little tilt up and down. Nothing crazy, maybe a little bit of a stop if you go down and watch this corner. It goes over and then kind of locks there and it goes to the right and then up. So it's a little bit of a shake in there. This could contribute just to that moment where it's kind of wonky there. But overall watching this, it feels like you need to continue to go up. Like you can again lead with the head so that the head goes forward. It's, it's a thing that drives down into almost a bite. 
But then as this happens, the body continues to go up with the with the pelvis. And then as it goes down, then you have a, a bit of a bigger drag where the chest will be here and the butt will be higher into a drop. And then the legs get get close and can hang on and grab, if that makes sense. That's the only thing I would say. Out of everything I just said, this would be the first thing to address. Just this moment, not quite buying that. I think it is mostly in here, with also a little bit in the camera. And sometimes you have a bit of a camera shake and then you have to animate to the camera shake, even though you, I don't recommend that. But sometimes you still have to cheat in there to kind of smooth things out when needed. Because right now that head goes up fairly visually into the space this way suddenly goes this way and then suddenly goes this way but especially without any rotation so it has that translate pop in there i think that's better in terms of what you have in the direction change it still has a slight feeling of going this way i think but it's, it comes down to the camera too because we're here but we're panning left. To me, it feels too soon. We're now leaving a lot of space where the creatures need to be driving the camera. So personally, I would wait with the pan over and that might actually give us a bit more of a translate change to help with the cut. And then once we're maybe here-ish and here, as these objects are breaking frame, that's when the camera starts to adjust. Maybe a couple of frames sooner, but Right now, it feels like the camera's anticipating this move with a lot of empty room here, and it should be kind of the opposite. Chopper seems fine. Again, watch out how much the card is going to occlude any visibility here. But I think should be okay. And the dragon. Let's watch this again. Bam. And then. Watch out. There's something here. Again, I don't know if that's in the animation or something in the camera, but it could just be a head rotation. There's something where it feels wobbly and hiccup you right through there. And even through there. I'm looking at some of the spots here in terms of camera movement. It feels fairly straightforward. So I'm curious if that's some shake or some high frequency thing you put in there because of the fire breathing. It just seems a bit jittery there. Yeah, if you can kind of look at that, it seems like a massive rotation over to its right and then back with some back and forth. Watch out for that. And then the body. I think for something that drops so dramatically fast, I think, again, you could benefit from a more relaxed neck pose and body pose where the chest and the pelvis is especially higher. Because right now what's happening is that this is a bit of a harsh kink right through there with a big turn. So imagine maybe you have to rotate the head down a bit and it's going to be tricky with the fire. But basically, I'm looking at something softer in that shape. So it's not so harsh here. And with the body higher, where the head and the, and the chest are low and the pelvis is higher than all of this. Once you go into this, you can have a pose where the the pelvis is higher, right? And because you do, you slam on the brakes with, you slam on the brakes with the wings, all of that, that's when this stops, this stops because of the wings and the pelvis overshoots and goes down to then land into something like this. Because right now we are already in this pose. And if I'm watching this, it just feels like too much of a solid object despite a, a stop. You mean like, we're dropping so quickly and then the body shoo, stops. And I think it would be neat to show a bit more overlap and overshoot in any type of body part, which to me would be the lower part. So vroom, legs forward, which you seem to have. Maybe the tail a bit more, or it might even curl a bit more like that. Like there's a pose where as it flies down, right? You got the head, horns, and it's a bit more like this, that high. And then as it, let me change fancily here color as it does the the brakes the head will be kind of here and then you end up with something more like that where everything ends up let's go even crazier whatever green where the pelvis rotates down while it kind of pivots 
along the head size, right? So you got that change in the neck and then pelvis goes down. I hope that makes sense. So that, like I said here, it's a bit higher chest and pelvis and then slam on the brakes so that this comes to a stop the way you have it here. And then the backside has to overshoot. So it's a bit looser there. Yeah, I think that should be it. And I will probably, in your shake, do a bit more in uh, X and Y and less in Z. It feels like that shake has a lot of horizon line. What what monkeyness there? It feels like a bit of a simple one rotation back and forth shake. Doesn't have to be too huge. It's going to be to me a bit looser and a bit delayed with more turbulence because it's not, it's fairly far away. It's going to wait a bit until either a shock wave hits the camera. Whoa. Or just a general kind of a disturbed shake versus a tremor impact shake. And then we cut out. All right. That's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.